गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मीनाक्षी मैंगर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज कोटा द टॉपिक दैट वी विल डिस्कस टूडे इज न्यूट्रिशन एंड रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्रोटोजोआ प्रोटोजोआ ऑप्टेन नरिशमेंट इन मैनी वेज सम सिंथिसाइज देयर ओन फूड अदर्स हैव इट मेड फॉर देम बाय एलगी लिविंग इन दियर साइटोप्लाज and still other wait passively until food comes within reach capturing it almost with the outer sheath some protozoa lead parasitic life usually doing no or little harm to their host but occasionally causing serious diseases like entamoeba all types of nutrition are found in protozoa such as holophytic holozoic saprozoic mixotrophic and parasitic holophytic nutrition all those phytoflagellates possessing chloroplast or chromatophores synthesize their food by photosynthesis as energy is supplied by sunlight to carry on food making activity this method involves self feeding is also referred to as autotrophic phototrophy carbon dioxide and water acting as raw materials enter into a complex cycle of chemical reactions and produce dextrose sugar from dextrose paramyelin may be formed which is especially which is specially character- characteristic of the euglenoid flagellates holozoic nutrition majority of free living protozoa derive nourishment by ingesting other organisms both animals and plants such protozoa are called holozoic and mode of nutrition is said to be holozoic nutrition All Sarcodina are strictly holozoic with the exception of some parasitic species. This mode of nutrition involves development of organelles for food capture, ingestion, digestion and ejection of indigestible residues. Food and feeding. Food of holozoic protozoa consists of microorganisms like other protozoans, bacteria, diatoms, rotifers, crustaceans, larvae, etc. The method involved in ingestion of these organisms is referred to as phagotrophy or phagocytosis. Colorless flagellates and those who have lost their chromatophores capture their solid food by means of flagella and ingest them either through naked sites on their bodies or through specialized oral apparatus. Some flagellates like Paranema capture food with the help of special rod-like structures called trichytes. In Sarcodina, solid food is captured with the help of pseudopodia. This type of feeding is said to be amoeboid nutrition. According to the observation of Rumbler, amoebae are said to ingest food in four ways. By import, this method involves taking in food into body upon contact with very little movement on the part of organism as there is some chemical attraction between it and amoeba passive organisms such as algae are imported like this second method is by circumfluence by this method amoeba engulfs the food organism upon contact by rolling over it in order to arrest it completely This happens when less active organisms are fed upon such as bacteria by circumvallation this method is applied when amoeba happens to feed upon an active prey it sends out pseudopodia to engulf the desired prey while it is still some distance away the pseudopodia surround food without touching it later These pseudopodia fuse at their tips and the so called food vacuole is formed which is engulfed as a whole by invagination it is a method of sucking in the food particle upon contact with ectoplasm the food particle then sinks into endoplasm heliozoans and radiolarians hold and pull the prey that comes within reach by their exopodia which act as traps after capture the exopodia withdraw and the prey passes into deeper cytoplasm Foraminiferans produce delicate reticulopodia forming a net a granular mucoid film is present on the reticulopods upon which stick the food particles on contact which are then dragged into inner cytoplasm in ciliates the oral apparatus meant for food capturing is well developed by the beating of cilia of oral groove 
food is taken into buccal cavity and then driven towards mouth or cytostome by ciliary bands into cytopharynx which strips off food vacuoles containing food particles into the endoplasm. Sectorians feed on other ciliates with the help of their tentacles which are usually knobbed at the tip. Each tentacle consists of a rigid central tube surrounded by a contractile sheet. As soon as the prey is adhered to the tip of tentacles, it is paralyzed by some toxin, that is hypnotoxin. It is then gradually sucked into the sectorian body through their central tubes. Food in protozoa is digested within food vacuoles, which are usually kept, which usually keep on circulating in the cytoplasm, in the endoplasm. Within food vacuoles, the reaction is at first acidic, which later on becomes alkaline. Proteolytic and carbohydrate splitting enzymes have been demonstrated in many protozoan organisms. In the acidic medium, proteins are converted into dipeptides and in the alkaline medium, dipeptides are converted into amino acids. Hydrolysis of carbohydrates takes place in alkaline medium. Certain protozoa are also said to digest fats. Digestive enzymes are furnished by lysosomes which fuse with the food vacuole. Digested food gets diffused into endoplasm where it is assimilated into protoplasm. Excess food may be stored as glycogen, paramylum, lipids, chromatoid bodies etc. Indigestible residue of food is expelled from the hinder part of body in case of moving amoeba at any point. Ciliates often possess an anal opening, the cytopyge or ectoproct, for this purpose. In addition to phagocytosis, pinocytosis or cell drinking has been reported in amoeba and certain flagellates and ciliates. This involves ingestion of liquid food by invagination through surface of body. Pinocytosis channels are formed at some parts of body surface to enclose the fluid filled from the surrounding medium. Lower ends of channels are pinched off as food vacuoles which circulate into the cytoplasm. Pinocytosis is induced only by certain active substances in the medium surrounding the cell, such as some proteins and many salts. Its physiological significance seems to be the absorption of high molecular compounds from the external medium. Saprozoic nutrition involves absorption of food by osmosis, that is, through general surface of body. This method of food getting is referred to as osmotrophy. Food consists in the form of solution of dead organic matter, rendered so by the decomposing bacteria. This mode of nutrition is found in mastigamoeba and some colorless flagellates. Dissolved food materials upon which the saprozoic protozoans subsist are proteins and carbohydrates. Mixotropic nutrition is a combination of more than one mode of nutrition. Many protozoa use photosynthesis as a means of food synthesis, also taken some parts of their diet in dissolved form by osmotrophy or solid form by phagotrophy. Flagellates like euglena and paranema nourish themselves by this method. The food getting mechanisms used by parasitic protozoa are generally the same as those of their non-parasitic relatives. Many intestine inhabiting zoomastigophora have a distinct mouth or cytostome, through which food particles are ingested by phagotrophy. Many parasitic ciliates like Nyctotherus and Valentidium do the same. Parasitic sarcodina of the genus Entamoeba feed by phagotrophy at least at certain stage of their life cycle. Zooflagellates inhabiting blood feed by osmotrophy. Osmotrophic forms may be either coelozoic or histozoic. Opelina, which is found in the rectum of frog, is coelozoic and absorbs all its food through the cell surface. The young trophozoite of monocystis is histozoic within the sperm morula and it feeds upon the sperm substances by osmotrophy. Parasitic saprozoic forms may also use directly the serum of their host's blood. Reproduction in protozoa Asexual reproduction 
occurs by binary fission, plasmotomy, budding, multiple fission, schizogony and plasmogony. Binary fission involves the division of one individual into two approximately equal parts. The division is not a mere fragmentation but a complicated process of mitosis during which nuclear division or karyokinosis is always followed by the division of cytoplasm. Division or fission may be either in a transverse plane or in a longitudinal plane or in an oblique plane or in any plane. The two daughter organisms produced as a result of binary fission carry all the cytoplasmic organelles of the parent individual. Some organelles like mitochondria divide at the time of division, while others like oral apparatus, flagella and contractile vacuoles are formed afresh by one of the daughters. Plasmotomy is a special type of binary fission concerned with the division of multinucleate protozoa into two or more smaller multinucleate daughter individuals. Budding is simplest form implies modified fission resulting in a small daughter individual in the form of a bud. When the bud breaks off, it grows to full size. Multiple fission or sporulation has nuclear division in which is not followed immediately by cytoplasmic division. The nucleus undergoes a series of division either by repeated binary fissions or by simultaneous multiple divisions. The body thus becomes multinucleate. Later, the body cytoplasm divides into as many parts as there are daughter nuclei, which usually arrange themselves at the periphery, each getting surrounded by a fragment of cytoplasm. The parent body simultaneously divides into as many daughter individuals as there are nuclei. Parent cells usually leave behind some residual cytoplasm which disintegrates afterward. Number of offsprings greatly varies among different and the same species and sometimes run into thousands. Multiple fission is quite common in foraminifera, radiolaria, sporozoa and certain mastigophora. Schizogony is is a process in which a series of nuclear divisions result into numerous daughter nuclei. This is followed by the formation of cytoplasmic bud, each containing a nucleus. The buds are pinched off to grow directly into new organisms. Plasmogamy occurs in certain rhizopoda. Two or more individuals may fuse by their cytoplasm to form a plasmodium in which the nuclei remain distinct and they separate again unchanged afterwards. The process which is thus non-sexual and not syngamy is called plasmogamy. Sexual reproduction in protozoa takes place mainly by two processes, syngamy or fusion of two sex cells and conjugation or temporary contact of two protozoans with nuclear exchange. Syngamy is the complete fusion of two sex cells or gametes resulting in the formation of zygote. The fusion nucleus of zygote is called syncarion. Depending upon the degree of differentiation displayed by the fusing gamete, syngamy is of the following types. Hologamy, in which the two ordinary mature protozoan individuals do not form gametes but themselves behave as gametes and fuse together to form a zygote. Hologamy occurs in a few sarcodina and mastigophora. In isogamy, two fusing gametes are similar in size and shape but differ in behavior. They are called isogametes and their union isogamy. Isogametes are generally produced by multiple fission. It is common in foraminifera and phytomonadida. An isogamy occurs in two fusing gametes differ morphologically as well as in behavior. They are called anisogametes. Usually small and motile gametes are the male or microgametes and large non-motile ones are the female or macrogametes. Fusion of such dissimilar gametes is anisogamy. This mode of sexual reproduction is widely seen in sporozoa. In autogamy, the fusion of gametes derived from the same parent cell as in acto actinophrase and actinosperium. In actinophrase, during sexual reproduction, pseudopodia are withdrawn and a cyst is formed. Now, meiotic division takes place and two daughter nuclei with half number of chromosomes are formed. 
no cell division takes place. After some time, gametic nuclei fuse to form a zygote nucleus. In conjugation, temporary union of two individuals called conjugants occurs at the oral or buccal region of their body. It is characteristic of Sartoria and Holotrichia. Fusion of protoplasm occurs in the place of contact. Macronuclei break up and disappear. Micronuclei undergo meiotic division and now all but one micronuclei degenerate. This remaining micronucleus again divides forming two gametic micronuclei. Out of these two, one is considered male pronucleus and other female pronucleus. Male pronucleus is one conjugate moves through fused cytoprotoplasm into the other conjugate. In each conjugate, these male and female pronuclei fuse together forming a zygote nucleus. Now, two individuals separate and are called exconjugants. Each exconjugant undergoes further nuclear and cytoplasmic divisions forming four daughter individuals. Association in conjugation is not at random but indicates, indicates a high level of specialization. The unique feature of conjugation is an exchange of hereditary material so that each conjugant benefits from a renewed hereditary constitution. Parthenogenesis in, the, in parthenogenesis, the gametes which fail to cross fertilize is developed parthenogenetically. It also occurs in Chlamydomonas and others when syngamy has been missed. Individuals of polytoma, which are potential gametes, can grow and divide parthenogenetically. Another form of sexual reproduction or another form of multiplication is regeneration. Most protozoa can regenerate their lost parts as normally displayed at fusion or encystment. Parasitic protozoa usually have slight regenerative capacity. Nucleus plays an important role in the process. Relative quantities of nuclear and cytoplasmic materials and their size of the broken piece affect the rate and result of the process and results of the process of regeneration. Thank you.